Hello everybody, thanks so much for coming back to OneMinuteDigital.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make these shapes, these circles or badges with a round or scalloped edge. Some of you may have seen my other tutorial about how to change the default star shape in Illustrator to get kind of a pointy edged or starburst circle. And it's fairly easy to do in Illustrator, but it's not as easy, uh, they don't make it easy for you to create a round edged circle, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, I'm going to create a new artboard just so I can keep the other one open while I'm working. Move it over. Now the only things you're going to need showing while you work are your stroke palette and your pathfinder palette. You find those both under window in the menu. Now with those up, let's start by going over to our toolbar and select the ellipse tool. Hold down shift, click and drag a circle. Make sure that you have the default white fill with the black stroke selected. Now over here in your stroke palette, bump up that weight of that stroke so it's nice and thick and we can see what we're doing. Now go down the center. If you don't see these options, make sure you click on this arrow to show your options as you go. Select the round cap, round corner, and align stroke to center. Check dashed line. Check align dashes to corners in that box. Now the dash will default to a number. Make sure this is always at zero. It won't work unless it's at zero. So zero point dash, and now let's manipulate this gap. Select it with your mouse and use your arrow keys to go up and down. It makes it go much faster and you can kind of see the shape that you're looking for. Now what I've done here is just create a dotted line stroke around that circle and just decrease that gap so that they're touching each other. And that makes that round scalloped edge. So now with that done, go over to Object, Flatten Transparency, OK, and in your Pathfinder, the first option you have is Unite. Just select that and now it's created one shape with a scalloped edge which you can change into any color and stroke, any color fill and stroke that you want. So there's our first one. Let's do it again and I'll show you how easy it is to make a bigger bump around the edge of the circle, more of a cloud-like shape, by doing just the same thing. With your circle or ellipse tool selected, hold down shift, click and drag. Let's default it to the white fill and the black stroke. On your stroke palette, bump up that weight, go down the center, round cap, round corner, and align stroke to center. Dashed line, right box checked, zero point dash, very important, and now manipulate that. Let us make a wide gap in our polka dots here, or our dotted line, because we're gonna make that weight a lot bigger. Bump up that weight until you get more of a loopy kind of a cloud shape there. When it looks good, go to Object, Flatten Transparency, OK, and in the Pathfinder, click Unite, and there you go. You can make any shape. Doing that works with squares, diamonds, ovals, anything you have a uh, vector that's an illustrator you can add this effect to. I'll show you quickly how I made this flower. It's very, very simple. We'll just go over the steps we just did. Hold down Shift, click and drag. Default Stroke and Fill, bump up the weight, round, round, center dashed line, right box checked. Let's bring in that a little bit. Just manipulate those stroke weight and that gap until you get the shape that you want. There we go. Object, flatten transparency, OK, unite. There's our first one. Let's make it orange with a black stroke. Now what I did to get that edge is I just gave that stroke and made it dotted as well. So just select dash line and the same things checked here. But we'll make that gap a little bit smaller. The weight a little bit bigger so we can see it. Now you see I'm just creating a dash line around there. And you just manipulate it till you get a nice even kind of a flow around there. Makes it look like a little flower. I'll leave those big for now. Um, just takes playing with it a little bit. There, like that. Okay, so I just did that and then I just copy and paste one on top of each other. By selecting it, hitting Command C for copy, Shift Command V for paste, uh, Shift Command and right bracket to bring it to front, and then Shift Option, hold down corner and drag to make it smaller and it stays in the center. And then I just reverse the stroke and fill. Then I did it again, copy, paste in place, bring it to front, hold down shift option, 
drag that corner in to make it smaller, and then reverse that again. So there we go, you have that little flower and you can change, oops, you can change the color of that stroke to give it different effects. And you can do all kinds of wonderful things in Illustrator with that. Now, like I said, it works on any of these shapes here. I'm not gonna do them all today because I think you get the general picture and you can make all of these shapes in less than a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. I really appreciate all of your support on YouTube and on Twitter and on my website. So until next time, bye-bye.